Where will this end, Kelly? Because I am absolutely terrified, and I hate to say this, I'm terrified of having a daughter, right? And this is like the opposite of what this stuff is supposed to do. I, before, you know, maybe back in the day, blokes would have liked to have had a son so they can go, oh, you know, I want to take him to the football and this. Like, no, no, I actually want to have a son so that I don't have to deal with the day-to-day -day rage of the idea that some bloke called Gary, who's dressed as a woman in Scotland for three months, might be able to go into a swimming bath, a female changing room at a swimming bath and be in the same room as her or that there's some teacher at school who's saying that this is all the right thing to do. I'm just mm. terrified of it because I'm not sure I could live with the unrelenting anxiety of having a daughter in this day and age. And I hate to say that, but it's true. Well, you mentioned Gary. Gary Glitter's just about to be released, isn't he? Wherever he is oh. in the world in prison for raping children. He can just call himself Janet and he can move to Scotland and he'll be fine. He can have unfettered act access to uh, women-only spaces um, and maybe he could be a girl guide leader and go away on a little camp with some children. Mm. So these are the real-life consequences. I mean, you say about having a son, but... We are bringing up a generation of children that cannot spot the truth, that will not be able to say a woman is an adult human female, that will not understand the fundamental foundation of truth that we happily have been raised upon. So I do worry about the overwhelming legacy of what that does to a population.